Boxing Media presents Safe Towing Operations and Procedures. One of the most demanding operations for both deck and wheelhouse crews is the towing of rigs and barges. It requires the highest level of professionalism and situational awareness. For a safe work environment, all hazardous conditions should be eliminated by implementing a proactive strategy. The following topics are of greatest concern and emphasis should be placed accordingly. Begin by being sure to have personal protective gear on at all times, including life vest, hard hat, safety glasses, gloves, and steel toe shoes. Adjust the toe line to position the toe and step. And monitor the condition of the toe and toe line regularly. Use the buddy system when going out on deck. One person should always be on the lookout. Due to the variety of rig and barge types, towing vessel equipment, and sea and weather conditions. Each towing procedure can vary greatly from one job to another. Orders for rig and barge setup will be given by the rig or barge mover in charge. Following are steps required for a typical tow line on job implementation. Once the tow wire is out, no crew member should proceed on deck without the authorization from the captain or person in charge. Tow lines are under tremendous tension and a small move or break could be fatal. Once all hardware, lines, and cables are on deck, they will now need to be stowed and secured to prepare for sailing or preparation for reconnection. Notify the captain when all tools and materials are stowed safely and head up to the wheelhouse for a post-tow briefing. Moxie Media presents safe hip towing operations and procedures. When departing or arriving with a barge under tow to a dock facility, a hip towing procedure will have to be carried out in order to safely control the barge and position it in and out of a dockside berth. As with all towing and line handling procedures, the crew should hold a pre-task planning session to communicate the requirements, duties, and hazards of the upcoming hipping maneuver. The side of the vessel to be hipped and the side of the barge to the dock shall be determined and communicated. The order of lines to be placed and to what bits on the barge they are to be connected will be made known to all crew hands. This includes the hipping or quarter line, the bow line, and the stern or tow wire. If an assist tug will be helping out, determine what its position will be and agree on a working radio frequency for quick communication. When in position, the crew will pass lines over to the crew on the barge. Caution should be exercised to utilize proper back safety, never twisting the upper body when passing the line. Never lean over the side of the water to pass lines. If you were to fall between the boat and the barge, it would be a deadly, bone-crunching event. Review the docking process in a post-job briefing, identifying any areas in need of improvement and hazards that can be eliminated. The process of departing the dock basically reverses the docking process. Begin with a job safety analysis in the pre-job briefing. Weather factors such as wind and current need to be taken into consideration and communicated to the crew along with any other hazards. Once the vessel has sufficient room for maneuvering and towing can commence, the coming off the hip process can begin. The tow line should be paid out and the deck secured for sea. Two crew members will then prepare the tools necessary for putting on the chafing board following all steps as outlined in the prior towing module. Once the chafing board has been positioned, cable tied down, and the deck cleared of personnel and equipment, a post-task briefing will be held to review the coming off the hip process. The crew should work to analyze the safety and productivity of their actions and strive for improvement. 